guys. So today it's time to share with you my hair care routine. It's been asked for so long and I'm finally here to make this video for you. Now my hair routine changes a lot, just like everything else. I like trying out a lot of different new natural methods um, just so I can share them with you and I can share all the best things in the world with you. But lately my routine has settled a bit so I thought it was a good time to, to make this video. And this routine is good for curly or wavy hair, for anybody who is prone to um, tangles and uh, frizzy hair that should work really well too, for anybody who is concerned with using chemical products. This video is also going to be useful for those who want to grow long and healthy and thick hair. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, let's talk about how often I wash my hair. Well, I try to do it every three or four days, not more frequently than that. Um, in the winter, we'll be able to go even longer than that, but now it's summertime. I mean, where I live is still summertime and it's going to be really hot until the end of November. So I have to wash my hair every three or four days. I also run most mornings and I exercise quite a bit, so I do get a lot of sweat on my scalp. So that's why I do it every three or four days and I find that it works really well. I never ever wash my hair without applying an oil mask before. That for me is a very, very, very important step. If I don't do it, my hair will get frizzy, my scalp will be itchy and uncomfortable, my hair will get static. So an oil mask is a total must for my hair. And all I do is just take some uh, pumpkin seed oil and I think I use around a tablespoon or two and I rub it into my roots and then whatever remains I also rub it into the length of my hair and then leave it for at least an hour before washing sometimes I also leave it for the whole night but usually just an hour or two is enough I put a shower cap, a plastic shower cap on top to, to make like a little sauna, I mean a sauna for my hair to help the oil really absorb into my scalp and that's it lately I've also been adding um, some castor oil to the mixture because obviously it's so amazing for getting your hair thicker and making it grow faster so I don't know yet how it's going to go I've just recently done my first try so once I try it out for a longer time I'll definitely share all the results with you I'm pretty excited because I really want to grow thicker hair so let, let's see how that goes and don't worry a hair mask really washes off so easily it doesn't leave any oily, oily residue at all, so that's not a problem. Now, when I go to sleep, I usually either put my hair in a bun or I braid it, and that's just to prevent any knots, because my hair likes going into knots, and also to keep my husband happy, because my hair tends to get into his mouth all the time, so he's really happy when I keep it neat and tidy away from his mouth all night long. Another rule of my hair care is I never ever brush or comb my hair only when it's wet. So the only time when a comb touches my hair is when I've got conditioner or a vinegar rinse on it and that's when I use my wide tooth comb and this is the one I use. It's made of bamboo and this wide tooth is, is amazing. I love this comb so much and it's so beautiful. So I just use that to untangle my hair in the shower while it's wet and that's the only time I do it. I honestly just use my fingers, often not even that, throughout the whole week. And that changed my curls totally. It doesn't break my curl pattern anymore. And I think that's a really important step for anybody with curly hair. Don't brush it or comb it. That will make a huge difference and will make you fall in love with your curls again. About once a month or maybe once in two months, if I'm being lazy, I like to apply a bit of um, Casio Bovata, which is also known as neutral henna, onto my hair. And that just helps to strengthen it, grow it thicker, healthier, and it helps scalp recover um, from any kind of irritations. So I really like this treatment. It doesn't smell too good, but it works. And it makes your hair look so much thicker instantly. So I use that, and then Usually I also like to mix in a bit of normal regular henna that gives you a nice uh, red undertone. But obviously I don't use that alone. I use a ratio of around um, 1 8. So let's say I would use 8 tablespoons of the neutral henna and then 1 tablespoon of the red henna. All it does is just bring out the warmth in my hair color. And it's perfect. It's really good when it's sunny and you know I go to swim a lot in the sea and the sun bleaches my hair too. So it's nice to get a bit of that warmth back into my hair. I really like it and henna 
you know, normal henna is really good for hair too. So I love the combo of these two. Most evenings before I go to sleep, I like applying some jojoba oil to the ends of my head. And that really helps my ends from splitting and just keeps my hair nice and nourished throughout the week. And I find it gives me really nice defined curls the next morning as well. So jojoba oil is definitely my favorite for that because it's really light. I've tried a lot of different oils, but I always keep coming back to this one because it's light. I don't even feel it and it works really well for my hair. But all I do is just dampen my hands and then run them through my uh, curls just to dampen them a bit. And then I take those drops of oil on my palms, rub my palms together and rub the oil along my hair shaft. I think that wetting your hands is really important because the oil traps the humidity inside. If there's no humidity in the first place, it's not going to do its job. So I think it's really important to give your hair that humidity in the first place and then trap it with the oil. So that's my little trick. Another new trick I've started doing recently is adding a bit of tea tree oil to my shampoo or vinegar rinse. I use probably just around two or three drops. I put some shampoo on my palm and then put those drops of um, tea tree and just mix everything together or I put the drops in the vine vinegar rinse as my last step if I use a no method. See, the smell is probably not the best in the world but it keeps my scalp happy and healthy so it's totally worth it and strangely lately I've been noticing that I kind of like the smell of tea tree oil. My husband hates it but I'm kind of liking it now so I don't know. Tell me what do you think? Do you like the smell of tea tree oil or do you hate it? I think it's something that grows in you after some time but I might be wrong so let me know what do you think of the smell. So now the main question what do I wash my hair with? So I use two different methods. First one is, well, I guess quite simple and used by a lot of people. I use natural shampoo and conditioner. And oh my god, it's spilling water all over my notes now. So, I use a shampoo and conditioner from the brand called Green People, and I've talked about these before. I think that this brand is simply awesome. It's organic and really natural. I've looked at so many different natural brands of shampoos. And I couldn't find anything with um, an ingredient list as clean as this. So I really like using it because it's convenient, it keeps my scalp and hair happy, so why not? It's quite affordable too. So I use the Irritated Scalp Shampoo and Daily Aloe Conditioner. And they work really well. And the shampoo is great because it's so concentrated, so you need such a tiny amount compared to the regular shampoos. If I don't use the oil mask before washing, then one wash would be perfectly enough. And if I use the oil, then I might need two washes, but it washes everything so perfectly. And the conditioner also makes my hair so soft, so yeah, I guess this is like a mini review, but I really, really recommend these. And if you're wondering where you can get them, I will put the link down in the description box. I just think they're so, so worth it. So on the days when I want something more DIY and even more natural, I grab my baking soda and vinegar and I just use the regular no poo method. I made a video about it. In fact, it was my first video ever made. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'll put a link here in the description box. You can go and check it out. But it's super simple and I still use the same um, lavender oil to make it smell good. I'm still obsessed with lavender. Yes, I think I'll always be. Now when I use conditioner, I make sure I leave it on at least for a few minutes. Even though in the instructions it says that you should only leave it on for a minute, but I always like to leave it on for a few minutes. I find it makes a huge difference. So I put it on and then I usually keep rubbing it in really, really well. And then I take my white tooth comb and I comb my hair out. And then sometimes I even put in a bun, put a shower cap on and go and you know, do my business, do whatever I need to do for a few more minutes just to really give that conditioner a chance to work. And my hair stays really soft, so it works. After I wash my hair, I never ever use a regular towel. I use something called, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a hair turban. And they made of cotton or microfiber, mine is made of cotton. And all you do is just wrap your hair in it and leave it there for around 30 minutes or so. And it's great for those with curly or wavy hair because it doesn't break your natural curl pattern. And it doesn't make your hair static or dry. It's really, really cool. It's, it's one of the greatest new additions to my hair care routine. And I usually leave it there for around 30 minutes. And by the time I take the turban out, my hair is already almost dry. 
After I take that turban out, I usually use my Green People Light Hole Styling Gel and it's another Green People product that, product that I could rave about forever and you need seriously just a tiny dollop amount and I just rub that into my hair really gently but without breaking the curls and it gives me nice um, definition, not too much hole, just a bit of definition to my curls and it's 96% organic so it's just awesome, I really like it and I try not to break my curls until my hair is totally dry so I just rub the uh, the styling gel on, but I don't actually separate them. I usually use, I usually leave that for the end when my hair is totally dry. Also, while my hair is drying, I like to put my fingers into my roots and just to lift my roots a bit um, to give my hair a bit more volume. But again, I try not to break the actual strands. I just lift the roots. I don't use any hair tools or hot tools, hair dryers on my hair, and I haven't done it for many years. You might say, oh yeah, she lives in a really warm climate, she doesn't need it. Yes, but even when I used to live in London and I had to go to work every time in winter, I still never ever used a hairdryer. Just because I hate what it does to my hair, it makes it so much weaker, so I'd rather live without it. So if you want to do just one thing to make your hair healthier, throw away your hairdryer. It's definitely going to make a huge difference. Now for second, third or even fourth day, if I'm lazy, all I do is just wet my hands once again and just scrunch up my hair with the wet hands to revive those curls and bring up a natural curl pattern once again and I find that if I do that generally I don't have to use any uh, styling gel anymore but sometimes if I do I might use a little bit of this but usually just water is enough to give me glorious curls again. So that's it really, this is my simple natural hair routine. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that I've given you some inspiration. As I said, it's great for those who have curly hair and wavy hair. I haven't always loved my hair the way it is. I haven't really known how to care for curly hair for a long time, but I read a book called The Curly Girl and I really recommend that. I'll put a link down in the description box. It was recommended to me by one of my viewers, but unfortunately I can't find her name because the, her email got deleted. So if you're watching this video, thank you so much and please get in touch with me because, well, I'd just like to keep in touch with you. So if you haven't read that book, I highly recommend it. If, and if you're a curly girl yourself, you're going to fall in love with your hair again or for the first time in your life. So thanks so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to this channel if you're new to this natural, holistic lifestyle and beauty uh, community. So I will see you in my next video. Bye!